In this video, we are going to see how to write a marketing email in seconds using OpenAI, which is an artificial intelligence and deployment company that helps you in creating human-like content. So here, I wish to create marketing emails. So let's say that every time I add a new title in my spreadsheet here, we have taken the example of a Google Sheet, then automatically, with the help of OpenAI, an email is generated and now the same email is updated as a cell value in the same Google Sheet. So how can you do this? For this we will have to set up some integration between the two applications and the same thing can be done using Public Connect software. Here your trigger application would be Google Sheet and your action applications first would be OpenAI and then it would be Google Sheet. Now how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we do that here, we have reached the landing page of the software. Now on the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply click on the sign in tab. If you are a new user, then click on this tab, sign up, it won't take more than two minutes and also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. So you can explore the entire software. Now I'm going to click on sign in as I'm an existing user here. And here we have reached all applications page since we are doing this integration using Pabli Connect software. So I'm going to click on access now. Now here we have reached the dashboard of this application. Again on the right hand side you can see a tab create workflow. So I'm going to click on this. And now here a dialog box has appeared which is asking me to name this workflow. Now here my objective is to write a marketing email in seconds using artificial intelligence. So I'm going to name it as write a marketing email in seconds using OpenAI. Let's click on create. And here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens and action is do this. Basically action here is the response of our trigger application. So in this integration I want that every time a marketing email title is added in my spreadsheet here we have taken the example of a Google Sheet then automatically with the help of OpenAI a marketing email should be generated. So here my trigger application would be Google Sheets. And now the trigger event. So this is the event that will make my workflow start. So here it would be new or updated spreadsheet row. So once we have done that, so here you can see that we have received a webhook URL which is going to act as a bridge for connecting Public Connect and Google Sheets. So I'm going to copy this and now to set up this connection, first I'm going to take you to my Google Sheet that I've created. So here the name of the spreadsheet is marketing email titles. The name of the sheet is sheet one here. I have got two columns. One is titles and another one is email. Now let's say that I have taken the example product launch of new organic hair mask. So as soon as this is mentioned here, as soon as I write it here automatically my objective is that a marketing email should be generated here. So now to set up the connection I'm going to take you to extensions. Let's go to add-ons, get add-ons. And here we have reached Google Workspace Marketplace. In this marketplace, we are going to look for the application Pabli Connect Webhooks. Let's click on this. And here you can see that this has already been installed on my system. So you have to get it installed. And once done, you are supposed to close this window and don't forget to refresh the page. So once we have refreshed it, I'm going to wait for the few seconds and then I'm going to go back to extensions and here you would be able to see Pabli Connect webhooks and then we are going to go to initial setup. So here you can see that the name of the sheet has already been captured by the system and now this webhook URL that we had just copied, I'm going to paste this over here. Once done, it is asking me for the trigger column. Now trigger column is the final data column on which the data is added. So it is going to be A. Why? Because the data is added in column A. So I'm going to write A. Click on send test. As soon as I do, as soon as I do that here, you can see that the test data has been sent successfully. Now I'm going to click on submit. So here you can see that the configuration is all set. Now I'm going to close this window and I'm going to take you back to extensions and then Pabli Connect webhooks. Why? Because here we have to make sure that the send on event has been checked so that every time the workflow runs, a response can be shared. So I'm going to click on this to get it checked. 
Once done, I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect to see if we have received the response and here it is. So what is the trigger column? A, then this is the title. Then we have the name of the spreadsheet ID, sheet name, sheet ID and the row index. So once we have received this information, now what do I want? That a marketing email should be generated for this title. So I'm going to choose my next action application as open AI. Let's click on this. And here the action event would be to generate content. I'm going to click on connect. Now here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the OpenAI account and to set up this connection, I'm going to click on add new connection. And we need a token. Basically, this is an API key. And it is saying that first you have to log into your account and then we can click on this hyperlink to receive the same. So this is my OpenAI website. We know that OpenAI is an extremely powerful artificial intelligence and deployment company that helps in creating human-like content. It can generate text as well as images. Now to log in, first I'll have to go to API and here we can see that we have got login option here. It also says that you can build next generation application with OpenAI's powerful models. So now I'm going to click on login. And here we have reached the dashboard of this application. So once we have logged in, I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect and click on this hyperlink. So I'm going to click on this hyperlink. And here you can see it is written create new secret key. So I'm going to click on this and an API key has been generated. So I'm going to copy this, take you back to Pabli Connect and paste this over here. So once done, let's click on save. So here we can see that OpenAI is now connected with Pabli Connect and Pabli Connect can now access the information. And now we have to fill in this information. But before we do that, I'm going to take you back to OpenAI and here I'm going to show you the various features it has. So I'm here go directly going to take you to Playground. And as per the name, this is an extremely interesting space where you can create content, generate content just like a piece of cake. Let me show you how. Write a story of a bird. So when I say write a story of a bird and as soon as I click on submit, let me show you the miracle. So here it has automatically started generating a story. Now the length of the story will depend on the number of tokens you have selected. Now to understand all these features, let's come here and here you can see that it has got different modes and then we have got different models. So here we use text the Vinci 003. Why? Because this is the most capable model in the GPT-3 series. It can perform any task the other GPT-3 models can. Often with higher quality, longer output and better instruction following. And it can process up to 4000 tokens per request. So when we say 4000 tokens, so one token is equals to four basic English words. Now, once this is done, temperature basically this controls randomness so as the temperature approaches zero the model will become deterministic and repetitive and as the temperature approaches one then it is going to produce random responses now comes the maximum length so it can be anywhere between 200 and 500 for generating an email and if you wish to have a longer email you can do the same now here we have to provide the stop sequence so stop sequence stops generating further tokens so the moment you put the stop sequence so this api will stop generating further tokens so here i'm going to go ahead with double backslash and single hashtag you can create your own stop sequence so once this is done then we have the top p and then we have frequency penalty basically this decreases the model's likelihood to repeat the same line verbatim and presence penalty increases the model's likelihood to talk about new topics then we have the best of basically it can generate multiple completion server side and it can di display only the best so here you can go up to 10 and if i say that i'm selecting three it means that it's going to provide three responses and then it is going to show us the best one and once this is done then i'm going to click on view code to explain you what is a prompt so a prompt is the instruction that we provide. So anything which is written here, this is your instruction and post that you have got your content. So I'm going to now go back to Pabli Connect and here we are going to fill in this information. So first of all, the AI model. So it is going to be text the Vinci 003. Now the prompt. So what is my objective? My objective is to write a marketing mail. So here I'm going to write, write a marketing 
email for now here I'm going to provide the topic the title of the marketing email so I'm going to map this information and how do we do that so as I click on this it is going to show me the previous step I'm going to click on this and here this is the title so write a marketing email for the product launch so I'm going to add the for the product launch of new organic hair mask so this is my prompt now the maximum number of tokens so here I want it to be 250 so it depends on how long do you want your mail to be then once this is done select sampling type so here we have got two options nucleus sampling and temperature sampling I'm going to select temperature sampling then the sampling value presence penalty and frequency penalty so here I'm going to go ahead with the default values so 0 0.7 is a default value for sampling value 0 is a default value for presence penalty and frequency penalty and here we have to enter the stop sequence which is double backslash single hashtag so once this is done best of how many do we want three okay so once we are done with this i'm going to click on save and send test request and here we can see that we have received the api response let's check the response that we have received here so this is our email that we have just received so isn't that amazing that you can create content in a flash of a second this is your email so once we have received this now i want that this google sheet that we had created i'm going to update the cell value here so going back to public connect i'm going to add another action step over here and we are going to choose the same application which is google sheets so here i'm going to look for google sheets here it is and now the action event here would be to update cell value here it is let's click on connect so here I'm going to go ahead with the existing connection and here we can see that Google Sheet and Public Connect are again connected and now we have to map this information so first of all we have to select the name of the spreadsheet so it is already there marketing email titles it has also captured the name of the sheet now here we have to mention the range and we have to mention the range in this format column name and row index so this is the column name which is b so i'm going to write b here and now the index for the row index i'm going to go to step one and this here is the row index so once we have done this now the value for this value i'm going to go to step two and let's look for the text here here is the text so this is the value so once we have mapped this now i'm going to click on save and send test request so as soon as we have done that here we have received the api response which basically means that now our sheet must be updated with the text so now i'm going to go to the google sheet that we have created and here you can see that yes our email is now a part of our spreadsheet so this basically means that our integration process is a success but we also need to check this in real time so what i'm going to do is i'm going to write another title let's say new flavor of Maggie is launched okay now let's say this is the title as soon as I click on enter what will happen automatically with the help of open AI first of all the email would be generated and then this email email would become a part of this sheet and here you can see that yes our email is now a part of our Google Sheet. Subject line introducing the new flavor of Maggie's spicy tomato. And then we have the entire mail here. Now, isn't that fantabulous? So all the content writers here who have to spend a lot of time in writing the content, this is definitely a boon for us. So here we can see that our integration is a perfect success. Now, I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect to understand what we have done. So here our trigger application is Google Sheets where the event was new or updated spreadsheet row. First action application was OpenAI where we had generated content and our final action application was Google Sheets where we had updated the cell value. I hope this is crystal clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the description box of the video. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if there is any specific integration that you wish to work on, then you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. 
if in case you have found this video helpful then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy i'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations do not forget to like share and subscribe take care of yourself